today i'll talk about first law of thermodynamics for flow process now here consider an idealized flow system as shown in this figure a fluid is flowing through the apparatus from section 1 to 2 so here is section 1 and this is section 2 the velocity specific volume pressure and height of the datum are represented by u v p and z respectively the suffix 1 indicates condition in section 1 and suffix 2 is the condition in the section 2 so here v1 u1 p1 z1 1 so uh, this parameter at point 1 u2 p2 v2 z2 u2 that all these parameter at point 2 now here heat is added per unit mass of the fluid using the heat exchanger so here one heat exchanger is connected to this line so heat is added to the uh, added through this heat exchanger and shaft works uh, ws is extracted using a turbine so this is a turbine and uh, any other suitable device so shaft work is uh, done here so ws that is coming out from the, uh, this uh, of using turbine now if i take uh, as a control volume uh, this and if i do the balance so it will be going here and this is also coming from here outside now energy contribution at section 1 so if you uh, look at section 1 so what are the uh, energy contribution so first is internal energy so each uh, unit mass of fluid brings with a certain amount internal energy u1 so here u1 is the internal energy next is potential energy potential energy is nothing but mgz1 so the fluid at uh, section 1 has a potential energy above the reference plane equal to mgz1 kinetic energy due to the velocity of the fluid its uh, value at section 1 is half m u1 u1 square and in terms of the force acting on the fluid equal to the product of the pressure p1 and the specific volume b1 known as flow energy so now if i uh, took all this energy unit 1 and unit 2 so my equation become so u1 so here the total energy balance for the unit mass of the fluid so u1 that is internal energy gz1 so unit mass per unit mass that is potential energy p1 v1 that is flow energy half u1 square that is kinetic energy and q is adding uh, that heat is adding and minus w is that is uh, shaft work is going out is equal to u2 gz2 plus p2 v2 plus half u2 square so this is equation one so this equation is mathematical statement of the first law of thermodynamics for flow process and can be used for solving problem involving fluid flow power required for pumps and compressor now if i reorganize this equation so i am taking uh, this th th this uh, term to the right hand side or so here u2 plus g so i am reorganize u2 plus gz2 p2 v2 plus half u2 square minus u1 plus gz1 plus p1 v1 plus half u1 square is equal to q minus ws now here u2 minus u1 p2 v2 minus p1 v1 gz2 z1 half u2 square minus u uh, half u1 square and q minus ws so here we can write del u del pv g del z half del u square so again we know that h is equal to u plus pv so if we plug that so del u plus del pv so that term is nothing but del h so and so here del h plus g dz del z uh, delta z and half delta u square is equal to q minus ws so this q5 is the mathematical statement first law of thermodynamics for flow process and can be used to solve problem involving flow of fluid and power record for pump and compressor now generally uh, in that flow process we neglect the potential energy and kinetic energy so equ this equation become del h is equal to q minus ws so this equation analog analogous to del h is equal to q minus ws for non-flow process streamlines the calculation in many practical engineering application so ultimately we'll get uh, we, we got that del h is equal to q minus ws okay so you can use that to solve 
different problem i think that's it